Um, so from the inside, from the inside, Okay. I did some changes in my life, right? I start to live inside my workshop. So it's not I have my workshop inside my house. No, I actually live inside my workshop. I had to move here because of COVID. And I had to readjust my space to be my house. I'm a very emotional person, um, and I talk about that on you know other videos. How much the emotion it's important for me to drive me to do what I do, not only on work but you know on everything. And I like that. I like that. And um, I do all my work by hand like 99.9 percent i know i've been traveling all over the world and i get i know i've got tools in special moments and some almost all of them in special moments and some of them i actually bought without i didn't know if i will use them ever i just like them i just like the moment it makes sense and i end up to those tools are the ones i use the most i care about the tools it's not i like good tools tools with stories it's like you know like that's what i think i make with my guitars it's like you know there's means on things i do and there's stories and that make the story of that guitar and you know like from the inside it's like my inside is my outside and they melt together. It's me. I and when I achieve, when I when I share those moments with those special memories, which are tools for me to make what I do, the time just stopped. And suddenly the result is done and I and I I feel surprised with the result. I feel like I didn't make anything. I was I was just there. And uh, you know some people give me tools also and special tools. It's just not like it's there's always something special about it. I know it's very could be very romantic or you know but it's the, it's the truth it's the reality and I hope those tools will go on after you know I leave after I die I hope those tools keep going the same way the ones I'm using some of them most part of them I'm using they've been doing their job they've been on in other hands and uh, and that's really inspired my work and uh, allowed me to to play music without thinking again <laughs>
need to make guitars probably 10 years before I made my first guitar. And the reason I didn't, it's because I didn't find a reason to make it. You know, you know I, I didn't want to make something. I didn't want to prove myself for the world. I was able to make guitars like everybody else was doing. No, it's not. I'm not blaming anybody. Or no, no. It, it's just I didn't see a reason to, to just be another one making guitars. It took me like 10 years or probably more. And just just one day I woke up and I said, I said to myself, OK, I think I'm ready to make a guitar and ever saw. I remember Adriano Sergio meeting the first time in, I think, 2014 at the Holy Grail Guitar Show. And when I came to his booth and saw his guitars, I immediately got the feeling that this is a very, very free spirit. His shapes are so personal and so sculptural and so way off the traditional look of a guitar that I was taking interest in his work over the upcoming years from then. It's interesting to see how he develops his sculptural, sculptural approach on his guitars and he's getting more and more personal, but even from the first models, from the first guitars, you could see his character, his personality in his guitars. And this is really something rare to find. Adriano is a true a true sculpture. If someone has the right to say, I don't like CNC manufactured guitars, then it's Adriano, but no one else. But interestingly, 
He doesn't refuse CNC. He doesn't use CNC, but he doesn't refuse. Do you want to talk about in your report? I don't know. I think, uh... I think I'm good.